Hey, what's going on guys, this is Stream. Today in this video, we're gonna take care of left and right imbalances in our body. When you sit or you stand, or you s even in your sleeping position, you somehow feel that your body is tilted to one side, that you do not, that you recognize the difference in the left and right side of the body. Now then you click on the right video. Now that was a very dull, boring introduction. Anyway, you understood what we're gonna talk about in this video. Now first, uh, we want to do a simple test uh, that will uh, easily uh, analyze what kind of le left and right imbalance you have in your body. This test is a very simple one with a chair. Now before we do this, just some quick talk about the anatomy of what we're going, uh, about the logic uh, of the exercises that we're going to do. The body has muscle fascia, it, uh, different from just basic muscles like uh, we talk about the pectoral of the chest muscles and the uh, latissimus dorsi, the back muscle. These muscles we can divide into parts. But muscle fascia is the upper surface that is covering, it lies under our skin, between the skin and the muscle. It is uh, a covering over the muscles. And this muscle fascia is not divided into parts. It covers the whole body. So if one part of that muscle fascia, just say one part of uh, uh, the muscle fascia of our neck gets tight, this can affect even the legs and even your foot. So today's goal and mission is to find the tight spot in our body, the tight muscle fascia in our body. Let's get started. First, we're gonna prepare a chair that can rotate to the left and to the right. And what we do is we sit in front of the desk but we place the chair into the right direction, 90 degree. And from this position, we put our legs in line with the chair, but our upper body rotating to watch the monitor. And you do just your work. You just imagine you do your work. And you focus on the sensation, how this rotation feels. I suggest you do a 10 to 20 second uh, focus because you won't notice the difference um, right away. If we have a severe tightness in the spiral line in the, in the left and right muscles, you will easily notice it, but for some, it will take some time. So 10 to 20 seconds. Focus on the sensation, how this feels. Now, this time we'll do the opposite. You wanna place the chair to the left side and you wanna do a right rotation. And likewise, you do a 10 to 20 second analyzes all the feeling of the sensation, how it feels. Remember to keep the lower body in line with the chair's direction, but, but your upper body is pointing to the monitor. Now this movement we did to test if there are any rotational spiral line imbalances. If you do not notice a great difference, congratulations. There's a great possibility that you don't have any left and right imbalances in your uh, body structure. Skip this video, enjoy your time. Now for those who feel a slight or a very severe difference, here goes the exercise. The first exercise is very simple. Standing shoulder width apart, very comfortable, without any tension in the body. Softly placing your hands on the chest. First you want to test the left side. Left rotation of the cervical spine of the neck to the left side, and then right rotation of the cervical spine. Now, do you notice the difference? Let's say the left rotation of your neck is blocked. Then we keep this left rotation of the neck. If it's the right rotation, please do the right one, okay? We're gonna do one more set. Now the difference will be rotation to the left side first, and then softly, gonna experiment lifting up the chest, uh, lifting up the head, the neck, and also down. Lifting up the chin, down. And you will notice that lifting or dropping the chin will make a change in the sensation of the stretch. Stay on the stretch, which feels the most refreshing, which is the most restricted. You don't want to force it, but we want to stay softly, wait on this posture. It may 
feel a bit tense, but not um, too much tension, okay? The next movement, we place our left foot forward. And in this position, we're gonna rotate our upper body to the left direction. Now testing the right side, place your right foot forward and then rotate your upper body to the right side. Having tested left rotation and right rotation, we will do a stretch, the corrective exercise on that side that is blocked, so to say. Lift up the right leg, move it to the side, to the left side. In this position, now what is important is that you inwardly rotate the ankle. Adding this slight focus on the ankle will add a impact on the stretch. Now testing the other side, lifting the left leg, moving it to the right side and trying to rotate the angle or the ankle uh, inwardly to increase the stretch. Now compare these two movements, which feels more tight, which feels more refreshing, which, which uh, stretching it feels more intense. Now we're gonna do the stretch on that side. Let's say it's a left rotation. So lifting up the right leg, moving, moving it to the left side. And in this position, just slightly, just a bit, rotating the ankle inward. The stretch we felt on the outer side of the ankle and also on your hamstrings, on the side of your legs, and even for some people in the hips, on the outer uh, line of the hips, and also for some in the quadrus lumborum, the low back. Uh, it differs individually, so um, just focus on inwardly rotating the ankle. Super nice, you've done a great job. Try to unlock the locked movements of our body, the locked muscle fascia of our body, the locked muscle lines in our body with these three movements. The tightness in our muscle lines and the muscle fascia lines have been built up throughout time, through a uh, long time. So it also takes not that same amount of time but it still takes some time, so be patient. Just enjoy the journey because every movement, if done in the correct way, softly and gently, will do you benefit, will do you good to your whole body. See you in my next video. Take care.